Okay, in our next piece, we are going to go ahead and get ready to do the main exercise this week, which is to create a web page for a cropped image exercise, a different web page for a resized image exercise, and a third page for a resampled image exercise. And I will do videos of all three so that you get a sense of how to do them as well as why you might do them. To start, I've downloaded the Image Optimize template, and I've gone ahead and saved it as Image Resized and Image Cropped, excuse me, Image Cropped, Image uh, Resampled, and Image Resized, and those are going to be the things that I want you to do as well. And in terms of that, this is my um, Image Resized page right here. On each of the pages, I want you to remember for every image to include the size, the dimension, and the file type. And of course, you're going to go ahead and, um, because this is your image resize page, I'm going to type in resize image. And of course, you can do anything you want here in terms of styles that we've already talked about. I want to go ahead and make that a little bit larger just so you can see it, right? And I know that I need to create a page for a resized image here. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the directions. So in this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and insert that original image that I had grabbed from Flickr way back in the on um, the first video tutorial. And I'm just going to simply insert that image. Now as I'm doing that, I want to pay attention to a couple things. Dreamweaver is going to help me out here. The first thing I can see is that the file type is a JPEG. And of course, you know that there are three different file types from having read the article previous to this. Its dimensions are 432, 4032 by 2820, and it is a 9.8 megapixel image. That's a huge image. Not only is it huge from a uh, size, dimension size, but it's also huge in terms of a weight size. Remember that most um, monitors are going to be about um, 1200 pixels wide depending on their graphic card and their resolution etc. So for this image to be about 4000 pixels wide um, is is way over over the top right. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, include that for here and I'm going to go ahead um, and put in artists studio. We will talk a little bit more next week about alternate text and why we want to put them in, but for the moment I'm going to do the best practice and do that. Now in terms of the size here, I know that this was 9.2 um, megabytes and that the dimensions were 4023 by 2023. I think I'm totally lying on that, but that's pretty darn close. And the file type is going to be a JPEG. So in terms of this exercise, inserting this original image is pretty much done. However, it's terribly hard to see that image all the way around, but that's okay for the moment. Again, knowing that this is a huge, huge image, this is probably going to be the one that you're going to um, struggle with in terms of, of um, uploading and stuff like that. Of course, it really depends on the size of the image you upload. Don't feel that you have to go out and get something this large. Um, while I'm waiting for that to save, I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, it's upset with me for that size. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of this page, or excuse me, of this image here, and I'm going to hit enter a few times. Now what I want to do is I essentially want to reinsert the same image but this is going to be a modification and this is the reason why we're going to do this. So I'm going to do modified um, modification, excuse me, resize and in truth I'm going to go ahead and do I'm going to just copy and paste those because I'm not changing the file type and here's the secret. Resizing an image does not change its file size. You can change the dimensions that it is sitting in, but you cannot change the file size on a simple insertion. So I'm going to go ahead and click on insert image one more time. I'm going to go find that image. Again, it's still the same image, 2820. And 
and um, that's the Boston Artist Studio resized. I'm going to click OK. Now I can see that this is 4032 by 2820. First of all, I'm going to totally do the right thing and go up and make those correct. Okay. And I can always see 4032 by 2820. This is my original image. Now if I come down to this image here, I want to resize it, but super important in terms of understanding web design. If you simply resize the image, you are containing it in smaller dimensions, but in no way are you actually changing the file size, and that's the point of this exercise. So in order to resize it, I can click on it and use my handles to drag it to a smaller dimension. But another secret, especially if it's as large as this one here, another thing that I like to do is I just like to come down here into Dreamweaver and I'm going to go ahead and make it 300 by uh, 200 maybe, okay? And so now I can constrain it from a dimension size to 300 by 200. It's still a JPEG, right? But here's the deal, is that just because I've constrained it doesn't make it any smaller. And in fact, you can still see it's coming in at 9.8 megapixels, and I have to change that as well. So that is simply resizing the image. Now, unfortunately, for those of you who are looking at this version of my page online, you're having to deal with 18 megabytes, uh, which is huge, huge. Don't ever want to do this. I'm going to, in this video here, this page is done and I'm going to see you in a minute.